I have my pastors here. Of, of Charis. Charis. Charis Missionary Church. I have my Pastor Kule. I want to talk about this pastor, Stena. Yes. This is my pastor from Deben. So now I have a crusade in Deben. In the stadium, I will be there. And I will be with Prophet Kule. And my pastor here. There in Deben. So these two pastors are with them in Deben. On the first and in the second. One, two. God bless you. Thank you. Amen. I was with them, these people. And they, I was telling that man that he has traveled a lot. Whatever. But I was telling these people that, you see, me, I see people on Thursday. But because I work with Andres, when Andres was starting, I push him on Saturday. I say, you will see people on Thursday, Saturday. And then on Sunday, I will check them. I was telling these people. And I've been telling people that I even say now Andres now is good now. But still we are carrying on the same way. I was telling you, I said, but like, the grace that we have here, it, I said to these people, I said, I won't talk about what Andres said. Because even him, he will leave things for me. I said this, I know what he will say. I will end up knowing what he will say. He will know what to say and leave others. Uh, can you look at the grace? The grace here is sufficient. I was telling these people, can you, can you speak what Prophet Andres was telling you? Okay, when we met Prophet Andres, um, he spoke about issues about my father's family. Yes. Yes. And then he spoke about the calling of God on my life and that I'm here for impartation. Then I went to my wife and then spoke about her businesses. Um, he didn't know my wife was into restaurants, but Prophet Andres picked it up and said, she sees her counting money and doing something connected with food. Then I confirmed that she's into um, a restaurant and she has a restaurant in Ghana, Kumasi. Exactly. So just when we were finishing, he picked up um, her menses. It is something she has been complaining about. And that is all that Prophet Andres picked and then told me that today I'll be meeting Papa. Can you hear that? Yeah. These people here, always when they come, the grace, the way God will give us grace is a shocking grace. Amen. So, and then today? Yeah. <laughs> so today when we sat down, um, you asked us, are we from Ghana? We said yes. And then you spoke to me and said, um, you've seen my heart and that God is going to use me and that the prophetic began in Ghana and then because we didn't handle it well it shifted to Nigeria and now South Africa and now it's going to begin from here to the rest of the world and that I should prepare myself and God has something for me here today. Then you went back to my wife and then you picked something with her fallopian tube. You, you specifically mentioned the tube that something was blocking the tube. Um, this is something Prophet Andres did not pick. Then you said this is the reason why we are struggling to have a kid and we, don't, we are not getting a baby girl. Then we said, yes, we've given birth to two male children and we are expecting a girl and it's been two years now and we've been trying and it's not coming. And you said, that is, something is blocking it. Just there and then my wife started manifesting, started feeling pain at that particular place you pointed to. Then um, you went on and then you spoke to me again about how that I've been crying for God to use me 
and that I'm here for impartation and that I'll receive it and then power will come to me. Then later you turn back to my wife and you ask her to rise up and then to minister to her. That was when you picked that um, a snake has been coming to her dream. Um, this happened about, it's been over a year now. She had a dream and a snake bit her. So when she woke up in the morning, she told me and I prayed for her. But later did I know, after praying for her, it affected her womb. So you picked it and said, there is something that then you ask her, what is happening? Then she said, something is moving. Then you said, that is the snake. Does she remember? She said, yes. Then you ministered to her. Then you called me by your side to minister to her also. Then you said, she's free and she's okay. So when we finished, we went to, she went to the bathhouse. She came back and said, she's feeling very light in that particular region. And that is what God has done. And we, are, we thank you, Papa. You have come from Ghana. Which side? And you are the husband. Yes, please. I'm from Lusaka, Zambia. Lusaka. One of my country. Zambia, Ndola. Ndola. Zambia. Mama. Rastenberg, give me a place called Zina B. In Rastenberg? Yes. This time? No, I'm, I'm local. I'm from Randbeck, Randbeck, Mauritius. Mauritius. My community is the Mauritius. Uh -huh. <laughs> So I want to say to you, I'm going to see you, uh, but you're also going to see our father tomorrow. Uh, you, you see both of us. God will give you a land. Uh, you God will give you a land. Uh, I saw you, uh, you must pray for this land is coming. Uh, for the church. So where is the church now? Mm. Whose land is that? Mm. God will give you a land, not this one. In Jesus' name. Wow. I believe there there's problems. Mm. Mm. The church, even the church is not growing. Mm. Do it like this. Sometimes you've been asking us, am I in a rightful place? Or oh, I should go, sir. You're here, we tell you. Jesus. We give you direction. Jesus. And where are your children, no? Hmm? We pray for them. And I'm sure after this, also God will give you a house. Jesus. <laughs> I saw this lady praying for the house. Mm. Is it true? Yes, please. Yes, please. Huh? Yes, please. <laughs> Why are you like <laughs> It's a hard desire. No plans for Jesus. <laughs> you know, it's a hard desire. We all have hard desire. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You know, I was telling this lady about a re a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Jesus! Jesus, my king! The name of Jesus! Leave this lady, leave! 
the name of Jesus. Ready? Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out, you demon. Come out. 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 The name of Jesus. Out. Now we must prepare to go to Ghana. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, Prophet, we are ready. But you've got a big space. Yes, my Prophet, with a compound. Yes, my Prophet. We need a very big space. Okay. Nigerians are going to come. Okay. Cameroon, okay. Kenya. Okay, Prophet. Yeah, how many people are going to come? Prophet. Yeah. I don't know how many messages I received from Nigeria mm -hmm. today. Okay. Every and the Ghana Nigeria the auditorium, we are closer to the I'm Francis, Reverend Francis Ansari, um, the founder and senior pastor of Kingdom Civilization Embassy Ghana. And here is my wife, the pastor, counselor, the pastor Sheila Yosan. She is my wife. Um, we came to see the prophet of God and the man of God, the apostle Makananisa. We've been watching them and we've been following them for the past five to six years now. And in this year, we decided to come and see Papa for an impartation of their spirit to boost the ministry forward. So that is how come we came. So before we met Prophet 101, um, when he welcomed us, um, Prophet Andres, um, he just pointed to me and said, um, you have a church, right? And so I was trying to find out from my wife whether there has been any communications <laughs> exactly but she said there had been no communication so that was um, the first thing that happened then he said we are going to have a land and that where we are currently um the land is not that peaceful and that is true um the land is not we don't fully have possession of the land he said he see a bigger land and we are going to we are going to have it then again he turned to my wife and then prophesied to her and asked of our children and we confirmed that yes we have children we have kids and they are in ghana and he said he will also pray for them also and so that is when before we went in for the one-on-one -on -one. that's what happened hello everyone <laughs> my husband has already introduced me and um when we went in for the one-on-one -on -one, i was marveled <laughs> the prophet picked sensitive matters that we didn't even know he would pick in fact um we have seen the prophetic in a different dimension here in um south africa <laughs> yes and um he touched on the work i'm doing he said he sees me counting money and yes i'm a businesswoman aside being a pastor i um run a restaurant and i was planning to extend it open branches and he touched on it even the very places i wanted to open the branches prophet mentioned them 
restaurant. Yes, please. He that. saw me operating a restaurant, and it was true. Where I wanted to open the branches, he mentioned them, and they were so true. Mm. And I have a problem with my tummy. Mm. Severe pain. It comes, and then it goes. Mm. But I have not. I didn't even know he would. That it would be one of the cases he would picked. Mm. But Prophet touched on it. I was shocked. <laughs> he prayed for me, and he said, "I am healed." Mm. And after the prayers, I feel so light. There's so much peace in my body. And, and, and I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm happy I came with my husband. And he said um, he sees a house for us, personal house. And it's true. Before coming, we have a land that we've started building. But it's not complete. We have it in mind that we're having a story building, two-story building. And that's exactly, and that's exactly what the prophet <laughs> said. He said he, he sees two-story building. Exactly. And it's true. So we thank God so much for that prophetic word. It has so much blessed us. And I think my husband will continue. Yeah. <laughs> there were plenty. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, the prophet had time for us. Um, as soon as we sat down, he greeted me and said, he's so happy to see me. And he has longed to see me for a very long time. So I was surprised. So <laughs> I didn't know what to say. Then he said, you've been crying for your eyes to open. And before you leave here, you'll become like me. And... Just when I was also about to also respond, he said, I see your heart, you've been crying. Ghana is known for the prophetic, and you've been yearning that you will have genuine, authentic prophetic ministry. And he says, Before you leave here, your eyes will open. Now, my father, the apostle, will pray for you and minister to you, and you will leave this place like me. And he spoke about the ministry. Then also, he also touched on my background. Um, my father died when I was 11 years. And before he was dying, um, actually I was giving birth to Then he traveled. He traveled before I was born. So I never saw my father. It was around that season my father died outside Ghana, which is Germany. So prophet said he sees my father in a particular place, not Ghana, but then my father is passed away. I said yes. Then he said, I have, do I have brothers? Then I said, no, I don't have brothers. On my mother's side, it's only me on my father's side too. I know my father died outside the country in Germany and I don't have any record of he giving birth. Then he said, no, I should find out from my family members, um, which is my father's side. And that it is, he sees that my father has children with this other woman. I said, yes, it was because of a woman they broke up about over 20 something years ago. And so he touched on that and he said, there is marital infidelity in your father's line. And I'll pray for you, but find out what I'm saying, whether you have brothers from your father's side. And that is a mystery when, uh, when I get to Ghana, I'm going to have to confirm from my father's side and see um, what actually went on with my father's death. So this is something about my background. One of the things I've been praying about is to understand my background. And this issue, Prophet picking it up, I'm so overjoyed, I'm, I'm excited, I'm happy. I can't wait to see what will happen when we see the apostle tomorrow. Uh, so I'm encouraging everybody out there, a young man of God or a young minister, out there that wants to gain clarity about your life clarity about your purpose seeking for direction we want to invite you my wife and i we want to say we want you to come no price is too big for an encounter with the prophet and the apostle of god come and have a divine encounter with the prophetic in south africa cherish missionary church yes. prophet andres god bless you all so much god bless you, bless you. <laughs> Bye -bye. You see that thing I was talking about? Yes. So you, you, did you ever see hair like that? No. Eh? No. Check when I look at it. Can you see? Did you ever see your wife manifesting? No. Eh? No. So but look at it. What are you doing? What are you doing? There's a movement. There's a movement. Jesus. Is that thing I was telling you that is blocking the child? It's like a snake. There was a time when she sleeps, she used to dream a snake. Huh? Yes, please. Huh? Yes, please. Yeah, this yes. is the thing that she was dreaming. 
Jesus' name. Come out, Spirit. You demon. Today you are leaving a, you are leaving a womb. Come out. Jesus. Let's see your way. You've never seen it like this. What are you doing there? What are you doing there? I put fire there. I put fire there. I put fire there. I put more fire there. I put more fire there in the name of Jesus. You must leave it, you evil spirit. Leave a womb. You've never seen your wife like this. Huh? It's, a, it's a confirmation that you will have again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bring them. Jesus, out in the name of Jesus. Yes, your wife is free now. Wow, hallelujah. Your wife is free. Jesus, hallelujah. Mama, listen to yourself. You're huh? light. Yes. You feel pain? No, please. Nothing. Where's up? 
Also. So, your blessing. Uh, Sir, you also had an opportunity to have sit and down with the Apostle one on one. Kindly please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. Okay. So I am Pastor Ansari Francis from Ghana and here is my wife, Councillor Oda Pastor Sheila. Um, this morning when we met Apostle, uh, as soon as we sat down, he started telling us about the prophetic history of my nation and he said that the prophetic began in Ghana then it moved to Nigeria and then Zimbabwe and now it's in South Africa and he said that from South Africa it is going to explode to the all the nations of the world and that God brought me here to play a critical role in what he's about to do in the last days and that I should prepare myself for what he's about to do because he sees power coming to me then he also said he sees me crying and praying for impartation to hear God to work in miracles then he says it is going to happen now that I'm here then then he also spoke about going to America because we had planned that from South Africa next year we are going to America. So that was also another confirmation um, coming to see the apostle. Then he turned to my wife. So, he, mm -hmm. so sir, how long have you been trusting in God for this kind of direction in your life? Yes, it's been about five, five years now. Yes, um, somewhere 2018, 2019. Uh -huh. So that was when I met Apostle on YouTube. Then I started following him. So I planned that early 2020, I was about to come to see him in the month of February. That was when the lockdown came and I couldn't come. After that, I have been trying everything possible to come. Always something will come up and then we will stop coming. Then this year, by the grace of God, God opened the way and we've come and he prayed for me and told me that um, I'm going to begin to see why I came here. And so we are believing God that as we go back to Ghana, whatever has been prophesied will come to pass. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So Ma, please take us through what the Apostle said to you. Um, he said a lot and before we planned coming here, even coming here, we went through a lot, but God made way for us and finally we are here. And um, all that I prayed for was what he touched on plus more. Um, I was we were really struggling um, um, giving birth. We have two boys already and we wanted a girl. It, it's been my prayers, but we've tried for about two, three years. It's not coming. So um, when we sat in front of Apostle, he said, there's something blocking your womb. They've destroyed your womb. I see a snake there. And he, he also said that there's a baby girl, but because of that, it's not coming. I cried. <laughs> wow, I, I was so shocked. I was so amazed. And he prayed for me. And that before he even started praying, I started feeling a movement um, at the exact place that he said. I started feeling that movement and God being so good, he prayed for me and it all went away. And I think that is, he said a lot, but um, yes. The, the surprising thing was that this morning, before I come to see Apostle, he told herself, he told me rather that she would see Papa. He would tell Papa that he wants twins. So just when Papa finished praying for us and we were about leaving, Papa said, I see twins. <laughs> I see twins. But then God says he's going to give us four children, girl, boy, girl, boy. But for the twins, God has said it. But then he says this, how God is going to do it. And it confirmed what she was actually praying for. Exactly. Exactly. So how long have you been experiencing these particular pains and how have they affected you? Um, it was mild um, last two years. It came very serious um, on 31st of last year. So it's been almost a year. That uh, I couldn't go to church. The pain, I thought I was going to die. The pain was serious. So I think from there it comes and then it goes, it comes, it goes, it comes. I didn't know what was actually wrong with me. And I didn't want to accept what doctors would say. So I, I didn't even try going to the hospital, but I knew something was wrong with me. I wasn't okay. So when he picked it up, I knew, yes, my moment has come. And that I'm really in front of the man of the prophet of God. And he's, he, he dealt with everything. I feel so free. I feel so light. And I'm so happy. Yeah. Yeah. And so how do you feel in general after your one-on-one -on -one both with the Apostle and Prophet Andres? Um, I feel blessed. I feel fulfilled. 
I believe the journey from Ghana to South Africa is worth it. Um, there, were other, there were issues about our church and what God is about to do that the apostles said. So coming here, um, I, I would say we want to say God, glory be to God for his goodness exactly. I want to tell every young man of God out there who has been seeking to come here that they should come. Coming here will be worth all the effort in putting to come. And I know when they come, whatever is their heart desire, the Lord will touch them and meet them at the point of their needs. Exactly, exactly. And then um, one thing, uh, Papa said the baby girl is there. So when um, I give birth and she's six months, I should bring her back to him for him to see the baby girl. So <laughs> and how do you feel after your one-on-one -on -one session with both the Apostle and Prophet Andres? I feel so happy. They, they are so gentle, unlike other men of God, like free, open. I was, I was so amazed. They are free, they are open. And the way they communicated with us, even released stress before starting um, with the uh, impartation and ministration, it was amazing. I'm so happy I came and I, I love it here. And I know definitely we'll be back. Yes, we'll be back. This place is our home. Yes, it's our home. We will be back with a testimony. <laughs>